Yes, I know, I put hot sauce on my breakfast. Listen, I can't help it, my girlfriend got me one of those like tasters pack of a bunch of different hot sauces and I cannot help myself from putting it on literally anything that can take hot sauce in some shape or form. Listen, I know it's weird, just like, don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Delicious hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Anyway, enough about hot sauce. Here's the thing. If you've seen my goals for 2021, you'll remember that I have decided that for the year ahead, I wanted to get back into doing more vlogs um, and sharing my development process and work on some personal projects and things like that. If you've been following my channel for the past couple months, you'll know that I did something very similar during the summer last year. And it was a lot of fun and people seem to enjoy it a lot. And I think a lot of people that are now subscribed to my channel and follow my channel started following at that point and you know that's how they kind of got to know me and kind of got to know the projects I was working on. The thing is after getting into the habit of working on those vlogs for a little while I also started sharing some more specific you know programming content more directly like how I learned Swift and things like that because I wanted an outlet to be able to share on some more specific topics. You know, there's some topics that just take too long to just skim over while I'm shooting a vlog, so. And you know, I'm glad I did it, but it kind of had a little bit of an issue. The thing is, ooh, that was spicy. Ooh, the whole process of writing them, shooting them, editing them, researching them, you know, thinking about them to make sure that I'm not saying something completely stupid or whatever it might be, does take a lot of time. What ended up happening is those, you know, programming topics and things like that took so much time out of my week that I couldn't actually shoot a vlog and I barely worked on my projects as a whole. I want to break that habit so I can get back into doing more vlogs, at least give myself the chance and the opportunity and the time mostly to be able to work on those vlogs and work on my personal projects and you know share that programming journey with all of you. I'm also going to use this opportunity of getting back into doing vlogs more regularly to actually start a new project. I'm going to call this vlog the vlog zero because it's literally the first day I'm going to actually start working on that new project besides from just thinking about it in my head and actually start putting it down on paper and conceptualize it and actually do the hard work that's needed to be done for me to publish it in the next couple months. But anyway, I'm gonna finish my breakfast right now, go take a shower and then actually get into the details of what I'm actually gonna be working on, so. All right, let's start by answering the most obvious question. Why am I not gonna keep working on the project that I was working on and vlogging the last summer? And here's the thing. For those of you who don't know about it, that project is just an app that aims to encourage people to use you know, reusable containers and products by showing them how much waste they're saving by using those said you know reusable containers and i still love that idea and i still want to make that app come to life and be published and whatnot but here's the thing i always want to test things myself before i assume that it's going to be useful to someone else like, if i haven't even put in the time to see if it actually works then it's a little bit presumptuous to assume that somebody else is going to actually enjoy using it and have a use for it. So hey, here's the thing, where I live is still into pretty heavy confinement and things are still serious here when it comes to like what's happening in the world right now. And so because of that, I haven't really had an opportunity to even, you know, go out to buy coffee and things like that and just you know, walk about and use all the features that I've thought about that I want to be using in the app. As soon as things let up and I can actually go back to testing it and using it in the regular way and see if it actually works the way I want it to, then I'll eventually get back to it and publish it. But for now, I want it to work onto something a little bit different. So then what do I want to be working on? And here's the thing. I have a basic idea of what I want to be working on, but nothing very precise yet. I've had bouts with a bit of issues with my mental health and I think as most people do at this time and age but but what if I could help people that like me have sometimes little issues with mental health and they have times where they're feeling a little bit more down or whatever it might be by focusing on the good days and you know trying to replicate when things go well and try to let go of when things go bad and aren't going the way we want them to be. I know it's kind of a ridiculous goal, but that's the basic premise of what I want to be working on. And I have a couple ideas on how to achieve that, but nothing 
super precise as to how I want to go about it. So let's try to build something, however simple it might end up being, that, you know, helps people to have ups and downs, just focus a little bit more on the ups and hopefully, you know, pull themselves up and make them happier in the end overall as you know, they kind of let go of those more difficult days and have an easier time replicating the good days that happen in their lives that truly make them happy. And obviously it sounds like a kind of an impossible task when I put it like that, but here's the thing, I'm not trying to change the world or anything or like cure depression or whatever it might be, but here's the thing, even if I barely make a difference and just help a tiny little bit for those people to trend towards their happier selves, then it's still gonna be worth it. So worth a shot it's worth trying to build something small and you know not too complicated that kind of aims towards that goal and see where it leads us so i'm just gonna take out a piece of paper and you know write down and brainstorm every idea i have for that app and see where it goes from there All right, so this is starting to look a lot better. I have a couple ideas that sound pretty good, but obviously I kind of just threw everything I had in my head on that piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do right now is take my computer and start, you know, maybe designing a little bit of some of the views that I'm thinking about adding to that app. Not necessarily to actually give a final design on anything, but just to kind of give myself an idea on how those pointers that I had and those ideas and objectives or whatever that I've had for that project, how they're gonna look when put into an actual like usable kind of, you know, app and view scenario so that I can give myself a bit of an idea on if those things I've been thinking about work or not or if, you know, they're gonna look completely ridiculous when I try to present them in a usable scenario, so. So, I'm gonna get on that right away. I think I'm gonna call it for this kind of vlog number zero because honestly the idea wasn't to do like a complete vlog of what I was gonna do today and everything because most of it is gonna be kind of boring and, you know, not much is gonna happen. It was a lot more about trying to share with you what I'm planning to do and, you know, kind of kickstart that project so that next time you know what it's all about and what I'm trying to achieve. As you can see, it's also been snowing, so I think I'm gonna go take a nice little walk in the snow. It should be fun. So, let me know if you're excited about seeing these vlogs come back. I'm really excited about bringing them back, and you know, as I said, I'm not gonna be sharing exactly everything that I do, because that way I can keep progressing faster when I'm not actually feeling like shooting a vlog, and if I'm shooting some other kind of video that week, it, you know, opens up a lot of time to just be working on the project without, you know, anything slowing me down or anything. Oh, and obviously, if you're excited about following these vlogs, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you're notified next time I post something. I'll see you then. Take care.